Okay, so I want to welcome everybody to the webinar. We're going to be covering multiple hosts here today, and it kind of this is all 1.9 functionality. We're assuming most of you guys have seen 1.9. If you haven't, there there is a beta that you could download. There's an there's an exe available for that guy, and also there is the zip file that you could download, unzip and use and and run them and encourage you to, to do that. But again, I, I think most of you guys have seen 1.9, so what we're going to look at here is specific functionality in 1.9 of the multiple hosts. This is a, we were always able to run multiple hosts prior to 1.9, and really .CMS is one of the one of the only open source pieces of software that I'm aware of that allows you to do it in a way that uh, is really as easy and kind of web friendly as it is. We'll look at it uh, here in 1.9 and then look at some of the improvements that we've made in 1.9 and how really what can you do with the multi host, with the multiple tenant piece to make your job easier in developing multiple websites. Okay, so as we log in here. It's our one, to, for those, again, that haven't seen it, you can see the, the interface is all redone, but I, again, I think most of you guys have seen this. As we look here in the browser, you'll notice there's a few new pieces uh, that we have here. For example, we have the Chrome Trail here, which is showing you now kind of what host you're on. You, you could always click this guy, you're going to end up back over here. Let's look at it here, where I actually have multiple hosts set up. As you, once you have multiple hosts, you can see now you have this, this thing over here on the right, this control, where you could come and you can rotate through your different hosts. Nice, got, nice thing about this guy, it's a filterable select. You could get in here, you could start typing, filter down through, your, through the host that you're looking for. You click them, and you have here prior in our previous versions of .CMS, you had it kind of all buried in here. But again, just as we're moving forward trying to think, you want to use .cms to manage hundreds of hosts, etc. This is a way you could do it. So let's let's just talk for a minute about, or let me explain, a, what multiple hosts really do in .cms. So what we're talking about here is some of you are familiar with the terminology of what what is a virtual host. And uh, you know, in Apache, you could some of you guys have gone in, you've set up, and you have host one dot whatever dot com and host two dot whatever dot com and then maybe you even have something else dot com and all all of this is run on the same web server. In this respect you get a similar type functionality inside dot CMS. So here we have starter dot CMS dot org as one host. In addition to that I have another host in here called test, which I could click on. This is my test host, only has a couple files in here. Now I could right click on my test host. I can edit him. And much as we had in other previous versions of .cms, you can put an alias in here. So this guy could respond to test1.cms.org and test2. Dot. So in this respect, it becomes aliases to the host. Doesn't require a restart of .cms, doesn't require anything. You literally could just come into .cms, create new hosts. And again, this is where we say we have virtual host type functionality. It, what this provides is kind of a, ni a nifty solution in that you basically, if you use .cms to control dot your, your domain.com, if most of your domain.com is hosted here at .cms, you could even go into DNS, do something like a wildcard.mydomain.com, all points to your .cms instance. This way, any new host you create here, you could always have site, site one dot mydomain.com, site two dot my domain. And you just come in here, you keep clicking them. It's already wild. It's already wired and a wild card in DNS. Gives you kind of a nice way to just be able to quickly create new sites. In addition, one of the other pieces that we, that comes forward as we talk about multiple tenant and multiple hosting that we've improved as you look in one nine is host is now content. And here's what, let, let me give you an illustration of what I mean. When you right click here and you click edit host, you'll notice we're kind of at a very similar screen to what looks like the edit content screen. Now right now my host only has the host, the host name, the alias, and a thumbnail. It is possible for me 
to come in through my host manager or through actually editing the host structure itself and I would be able to add new fields to this host in the same way that I could add new fields to any other piece of any other structure of content so we come in here right now you can see we have the host name we have the aliases we have the thumbnail so if I want to add a new field to this guy all I've got to do is click add field click drop click a drop down here I could add a new text field I can add a text area field which I could use on my host now why is this useful let me give you a really really good example of where this is super useful especially when you talks about the ability we're gonna talk in a little bit that you can take a host and copy that host so you think of a template host or just I need to work from this guy and create something just like him but then I'm gonna I'm gonna change him a little bit but let's think about the template example for a minute this is our new starter site so if we look at our new starter site on the front end here you could see and it, this is still being worked on but here you could see what it is so here's a home page of our site I'm logged in the starter what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the host here now the first thing you're gonna notice is I have multiple fields more fields than I had built out in this tab over here we have the description we've got some keywords we get the alias which we had in the other one in addition to that we're using page width we have side menu control here in a theme now this is just a great example of the kind of flexibility and power that dot CMS brings to the web developer what we're using for themes in this case is jQuery and then you could drop a new jQuery theme right inside dot CMS and allow the site to, to be configured in, the, in that respect using whatever themes just by dropping files. In addition to that, we're using a CSS framework. We happen to be using Grids. You may have your own CSS framework, your own CSS controls, whatever particular framework you like. You may use jQuery, you may not, but let me show you how this works. So right now we're running the Vader theme. It's all black, etc. So we'll change it here we're gonna save and activate this host I'm gonna to go to the front end and do a refresh here and simply by changing it because the host was content right in the template we are able to pull the variables coming from that host because again the host is just content it's no different than any other velocity or anything else you do as far as velocity variables you get that host it's a piece of content right on that guy you can say host dot theme based on that you can do your magic this your little HTML magic with that guy same thing with the CSS style again this is the same example but just a really good example of the type of tooling or the way that you can use your modern day web development tools in a way that's very dot CMS friendly and allow dot CMS to help you here we'll change our page width to be a hundred percent again we happen to be using grids to do this but you could do use whatever CSS framework makes you happy and here you could see our layout has changed to 100 percent well why is this cool well again we're gonna look at the copy host functionality really soon here and you'll see that we could take this host make an exact copy of it and simply I copy it every if all of my controls of the look and feel of the site whether they be colors whether it's the top navigation your the way the navigation is controlled side nav how it lays out CSS controls all of this could be done directly on the host very configurable very cool and just a really good way of a really good demonstration of how to integrate your tooling into dot CMS and use tools in a smart way